These two videos are so inconsistent, they're probably gonna drive everybody nuts, but this is how I wanna do it for now. Dang it. That was just pure laziness. I didn't take my time. That's gonna, that cost me a stroke for no reason. Uh, in case you're wondering what's happening here, this is hole five. I somehow hit a button that stopped the recording and had to record it, uh, had to start over, which means I'm gonna have holes one through half of five on one video, and hopefully the rest on another video. Uh, Cause I'm not gonna, I don't have the editing software to splice them together, nor do I care to. I'll just do multiple videos. And hopefully you guys find it interesting. I will say, I'm a little mad about that last one. That was just dumb. But there's video evidence, so can't cheat. On to hole six. That's a full-on owl pellet, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll take this over to the picnic table and open it up. I think Simon Lazat does the nature appreciation. This is gonna be more like anatomy appreciation if it's what I think. See what's on here. Rodent teeth. It's a skull. And it's pretty broken up though. I'm not gonna see a bunch. It's a bunch of ribs. And this one's kind of boring. Here's parts of the skull. Oh well. Got my hands gross for no reason. Uh. Alright, hole six. <laughs> 320 feet straight on, low ceiling. It's a fun hole. If I can get a good throw on it, I'll be real happy. If not, I'll be real mad. I'm gonna throw my uh, my boss again. Actually, I'm gonna throw my Valkyrie. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a Vulcan. having trouble with that disc slipping out of my hands that's that man wow I'm gonna throw the boss let's pretend that last one didn't happen because that was that was a problem that was a mess not sure why that slipped out of my hands actually oh boy I'm throwing one more. Oh! All right. That was three really, really shoddy releases. I'm not sure even what to do with that. All right, this is a dumb hole. I'm mad right now. I uh, I took a re rethrow, kind of starting over. You can be mad at me if you want and judge me, but I'm not playing for money today. And frankly, that was annoying. So. I'm about uh, 
80 feet away through my most overstable uh, lightweight disc. I'm gonna just try to throw a stable straight on mid range here from here. Uh, I got a perfect skip off of a root and I parked it. So, for posterity, I threw four discs. In case you want to be jerks about it, I threw four discs from the tee shot and used my fourth disc. But, when I scored a new disc, it's going down as a par because I hate it. That was dumb. That, that disc, which my, that uh, Vulcan, which I like, just came right out of my hand, weird. I don't know if I tried to overthrow it. And then that got in my head and I rushed to throw the other two. All right, so I gotta learn from that one. If I start playing tournaments, that's not gonna, that's gonna suck. Okay, this next hole, there isn't a white and black tee box. It's kind of a fun hole. You can see there's two, two channels on either side of that row of trees. Basket's way down there. Two alleys, I guess you call it. So aiming for A, B's not in there. So on A, it's uh, 259 feet. And I'm actually, this is gonna be the first hole today that I'm throwing forehand. Cause I don't like, actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna go backhand down this right side alley. With a bit overstable disc, low. Oh, all right. Keep it low. Plant your front foot. Put your weight on it. Stay over your belt balls of your feet. Here we go. It got up on me. It got up on me. Throwing another one. <sighs> Struggling a little bit all of a sudden. Lost my focus. there it, it split the trees that was not at all what I was trying to do I'm gonna throw one 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 more just for I hit the exact same two two inch wide branch is the first one I end up keeping this recording going. It might be the video record of an adult man losing his mind. This is actually a little annoying right this second. I'm gonna throw from the first disc so it's valid. Here it is. I accidentally threw a bit of a forehand roller and it's in makeable distance now for a par. I actually like this hole, I'm just kind of mad at it right this second. Whereas, they're not like whole 
five, is it? And I ended up playing that one pretty good. So, here's hole, basket seven. Man, when they, when they add the B baskets, this course is gonna be crazy. They've really put a lot of care into setting this thing up nice. It's a true dedicated disc golf course with, uh, I think, quite a bit of thought to the layout and design. All right, so I'm in for four. Here's hole eight, 284 feet from the white. There's guardian trees in front of the basket. You can see it. Not sure you can see the basket through there, but pretty healthy shot shape. A little right to left. So the breeze has picked up a little bit, so I'm not going to throw my I'm not going to throw my lighter weight. This this time I'm going to throw my scorch. I'm going to cut through the breeze a little bit. It's coming across left to right so that should favor slight Anheuser throw I'm gonna really try to put a good rip on this one keep it low though I don't sail it up oh I let go too soon in there it's ripping out of my fingers too soon I gotta get a better grip there I'm gonna throw my Star Destroyer now. I'm a little bit frustrated here. Don't let go too soon. Oh, uh, much better. Still not far enough out for that hyzer to really do what I wanted it to. I'm gonna throw one more disc. I'm gonna throw my Vandal, which has a slight understable. I'm gonna aim far right though. Oh man, what is my problem today? Oh boy. That requires a, a fourth disc. Now what do I even throw? Oh, I'm gonna go too early again. Wow, I got an issue. Man, I might not. I got a problem. Well, in addition to four bad throws, the ground on this hole is really muddy and soft, making it very awkward and sloppy. So I'm not having a good time this hole. I'm gonna use my Star Destroyer location though, because that gives me the best chance. I'm just I'm just irritated right this second though. <laughs> Easy approach from 70 feet. I'm actually pretty good at those right now. But my tee shots are terrible today. I don't know what's going on. I started off my first three holes were pretty good. But uh, I don't know if I, I think I'm maybe amping up too much trying to throw too hard. Which it shouldn't be such thing, but maybe I'm not adjusting grip wise for it like I should be. I use this compass mid range a lot for my approaches. Unless I need to throw. Uh, An understable disc and then I use the fruit the fuse or if I need to throw an overstable disc I use the zone but you can kind of get this to do whatever you want it's so stable uh, but for just toss-ups I've been very happy with it I use that two-speed link quite a bit too when I feel like I want to kind of float it so I'm feeling very comfortable with my approaches but today the 
the uh, tee shots are not not where they need to be. This this hole I did not play well last time. It's a uh, fairly narrow, long. If I was smart, I'd just throw two approach shots straight and then make a putt for par. But I'm mad. I'm tilt, on tilt a little bit, so I'm going to throw... I'm going to try to throw a beast of a shot here. It's 270 feet straight on. They're on the scorch. I let go too early, but thankfully it's on a bit of an ante. No, that's not good. Wow, I I am like my timing is really messed up right now all of a sudden. I'm gonna throw my lighter to this man. Again, just see what happens. Okay, that was a good throw. I just got a little bit in the air and clipped a branch. I'm gonna do one more. Try to keep it lower. That was like a 270 foot flex shot with my other boss, my lightweight blue disc. That's what I should have done in the first place. Oh man. I am confused about my grip has been for some reason lately my my ink my uh, tendency is to let the pinky off the rim of the disc. And just hold all three fingers, which hasn't hurt me really. But today, all of a sudden, I'm letting go two, th two, three ticks too soon.
All right, I was quiet for that because there's another group next to me here. But uh, I threw my Vandal fine. I threw the, and I'll, I'll play from there, so it's legit. I threw the uh, Defender, I mean, sorry, the uh, Destroyer fine. Yeah, hyzered it the way I expected it to. Maybe another 10 feet past. I threw my Scorch. Beautiful snap. But it... It anted out way more than I expected it would. And I might be in trouble. It might have gone into the water. It should not have anted out that much. I think I see it. All right, I found my disc. It was up in a tree. I had to, I had to work for it, actually. I had a risk life and limb a little bit but it's one of my favorite discs so even though I'm kind of mad at it right now all right so this is just a straight on approach so once again I'm going to be throwing my compass I actually threw that too good Wow, I put too much pop in it. One thing I haven't quite reconciled with this sport is it's all tee shot. It's all tee shot and approach. It's like, there's no real I don't know how to describe it like there's no stakes on your second shot like I guess at a higher level if you're playing I guess I just have to play from the blacks if I play from the blacks the second shot's gonna matter a lot more because I don't have enough distance uh, I don't have enough distance from the whites to park everything but I have enough distance from the whites to put everything within a 50 foot approach shot so I'm basically like unless I have an errant shot which I am today so that's fine but unless I have an er errant shot I'm basically like guaranteed to par everything from the whites okay that's fine but the problem is I also am not giving myself any chance to birdie anything so it's like, do I pl start playing from the blacks and start living with, you know, plus golf? Like I'm, like yesterday I was plus four or plus five, I guess, but it was bad weather and I really didn't have to work that hard to get to the plus five. Like if I had had a couple things break my way one way or another, I missed four birdie putts, but I'm really not getting myself a lot of birdie chances is the thing. It's really just, I'm realizing I'm going to run out of time here. It's 11, hole 11. Sun's going down. I'm actually going to shut it down and start heading back in. So, the next six holes are kind of grindy, which, if the sun was up high, I wouldn't mind it. But I'm not, I'm not having a lot as much fun today. I'm not having as much fun today and uh sun's starting to go down and i got a little bit of a hike back so i'm gonna just march to hole 18 which is a fun hole I'm partly frustrated with my play today i mean obviously because of my release problems I'm a little bit frustrated with the course today. It's very sloshy.
I gotta say, I've definitely played better when I'm not vlogging. Although when I'm playing alone, I kind of don't mind though. I like, I almost feel like there's company.